Hey guys, I'm back in the bathroom. Getting ready. I thought I would share a couple new products that I've been using over the last couple weeks. I've been sharing them a lot on TikTok, a little bit on Instagram, but I figured the YouTube fam needs to know about some of these new products. Okay, so I did not do my skincare yet, so we're gonna do that first. I have been using the Kosas Serum Mist for months now. I think I got this honestly during the last Sephora sale, or maybe it was during the holiday sale, but this stuff is amazing. And you already know, around here, we need to have slightly damp skin before we apply serums because they're going to absorb better into the skin when there's a little bit of moisture. So you never wanna apply your serums to super dry skin. And I am one of those people that likes to do eye cream first because I am of the belief that by the time you put everything else all over your face, your creams and stuff, the eye cream can't really get into this area. So I like to do it in the beginning. Okay, so True Skin, who, amazing brand, I talked about them a lot last year, super affordable, get them on Amazon. They have the most five-star reviews of like literally any skincare product I've ever seen, but on Amazon, it's like, I don't even remember, it was like 70,000 five-star reviews, so you know it is good. And for the price, it just cannot be beat. So, this last weekend, I kind of shared all the emotional things that I've been dealing with over the last couple months. I feel like the first few weeks postpartum were really rough, like I was not myself. And then I kind of got into a groove and I've been really creating and feeling better. And then the last couple of weeks, months, I'm just feeling a little down and I'll explain why, but first I wanna show you Make Makeup. This is the Lactonic Synchronizing Skin Serum. So I'm gonna use a lot of their skincare today because I'm just in awe. Like I said, I thought they were mostly beauty or makeup, I should say, but they also have skincare and everything is beautiful and perfect for like a lightweight skin makeup situation. My next video on YouTube is going to be about how I read 100 books last year, but I ain't reading that this year because I think I've read one book so far and we're getting to the end of February, so there's that. Okay, so this next one is Merit, the Glow Serum. Everybody and their mothers has been talking about the serum for months now. It's been sold out multiple times, so I had to try it, of course. But this definitely does give a little bit of that instant glow which I am here for. Be careful of the pump though. The first time I pumped it, it splattered back on me, but it is really nice and glowy. Like my skin, glowy now. Basically what I kind of told Instagram, and I don't want to talk about this too much because I just want to kind of like move on, but I've been seeing it because it's been close, like too close. Basically, one of my friends, friends, unsubscribe from my newsletter and that was like the first thing like weeks ago and it was because I was running analytics on the newsletter because I was like what topics do really well what topics don't and I kind of judge that and gauge it off of when at what time did people unsubscribe you know was it a certain topic whatever because you have to like look into the numbers and the strategy behind a lot of that stuff in order to understand what's working what's not if you care it's tough because it's like people always say, keep the personal out of business, but the business is me, so it is personal, but then I can't take it personal. It's very, very complicated. It's kind of like when you go into a nine to five and it's whatever it is, it's marketing for a beauty brand or whatever. It's a little bit different. When someone's like, I hate the product, great. When someone's like, I hate you, that's different. <laughs> but you still have to treat it as a business if you want to survive emotionally. Five years ago, I did not give a rat's ass what anybody thought of me. I was young, wild, free, do whatever I want. The drop of a hat, I could be on a flight. And I traveled a lot, like I did whatever I wanted to do. Things are a little different now, obviously. And I think that's kind of part of it is like, I feel like I, I'm judged more. And it, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it's different now. I don't want people to unfollow and unsubscribe now. Before I was like, Pfft see you later don't let the door hit you on the way out so something's changed and i think i'm just more emotional in general i know i am this is by Josian, beauty of Josian. i keep saying by Josian. it's beauty of Josian. i bought a bunch of the products from amazon because i saw 
my friend Glowopedia. She's incredible. She shares mostly skincare, which I really love. This sun stick is one of those viral things on TikTok. And she was just talking about the benefits, the ingredients, etc. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy the sun stick. And this is like a very beautiful formulation, by the way. I really commend her for recommending this because it's not like some of the other ones that are really chalky and like dry and hard to like move around your face. This sunscreen is incredibly hydrating glides beautifully and then i can reapply this later over the skin if i have makeup or anything tinted i do wipe this off like the top layer off so i don't end up you know spreading all of the makeup later on so anyway what i was saying on instagrams i kind of share the story of like when people are like kind of close to you. it's like a friend of a friend it's someone that i've helped in the past like you guys don't understand how many people in this industry I've helped like shared media kit examples, told them what to put in their media kit. And back in the clubhouse days, people would email me and be like, what should my pitch be? Like I've, I've helped so many people. So when I go back and see that they've unfollowed, unsupported, I can't help but take it personal, but I just need to toughen up and just realize that it's really not about me at all. And I do it too. I was just talking to one of my friends about this. I've unsubscribed and unfollowed people who maybe I sort of know and it's because I don't really want to see their content. One of my friends gave me good perspective, especially now that I do share Lila. If there are people who are having trouble getting pregnant and they're seeing my little baby, that's obviously triggering for them. So they're going to unfollow. They just have to. It's for their own mental health. So I just need to get over that and I've been really working on... I've been working on it. I just, I wish I had like the, I wish I was stronger like I was years ago, but you know, ebbs and flows, we go through emotional elements and I'm, I'm in an emotional state now. I will link everything in the description box down below in case you guys are interested, but these are all incredible products. I've used them day in and day out and everyone is losing their damn minds over Tarte everything. So I did try some Tarte stuff. I tried the peach blush. And I finally got into Le Bouge Rouge. My Galantine got me this, this beautiful palette. Now this is, some of these are recommendations from Rachel, the beauty professor, who is literally an OG in the game. She started her blog in 2012, so she has a couple months on me. But I've been trying to support more of the OGs because I'm also, this is another piece of the story that I was kind of sharing on Instagram is, you're seeing a lot of these like new, basically viral overnight sensations getting all the opportunities and it's like, what about the OGs? Like I've been doing this for 10 years, you know? It's like brands forget who supported them and got them to where they are. They just want the viral sensation because that person is getting millions of views, which from a marketing standpoint, I understand. But at the same time, like you're where you are because of the people who have shared over the last 10 to 15 years. And let's use, let's use Prime Skin from G today. I haven't used that in a minute. The Say is so good. I did try this Tarte situation. I did a TikTok with it. It's a little much. It feels heavy. I don't really enjoy this brush application. Like I'm used to like light, breezy, easy makeup. And I have been loving the MZ Skin uh, tint, Tinted SPF. MZ Skin also, guys. I don't think I use any of their products right now because I use them all at night, but they are incredible, incredible, incredible. So I'm just going in. You guys know me. Come on. Come on. I'm not going crazy with the eyeshadow. Let's be real here. I'm going in with this like very light shade, but to be honest, it doesn't look as light on my eyes as it does in the palette. Like, how does that happen? It's kind of like broken my brain because every time I look, I'm like, it should be white, like a shimmering white, and it's more brown. Or I'm also just going colorblind. That could also be... <laughs> you guys let me know. Like, look at how white shimmery it looks, and then on my lid, it's like more bronze. So G is based in Miami. I feel like so many things are like in Miami now. Like Miami's gotten like cooler. I know it was always cool. I never really understood the appeal of like the nightclubs and everything, but there's so many businesses now that are doing awesome shit out there that I'm like, I need to go to Miami. One of the reasons I discovered G because Jenna of Agent Natour raves, okay? Raves about G Beauty. So does KGMTL, Dara, like all of these 
all of these women who I trust implicitly, who really try a lot of stuff, who are more of like beauty editors in my opinion, which speaking of that, I also have been thinking that a lot of beauty editors are, have now become more like influencers, which is very interesting because even though they don't have the audience numbers, they have the right audience where they can actually get the product out to the right people. I'm not here just, you know, dancing, doing TikTok shit, I don't know. That was the other thing, like a lot of people messaged me and were like, you have come so far to worry about the people who don't like you. And they're like, it comes with the territory. I'm like, I know it does, but like, I'm just more emotional lately. Cause I'm like, is it about me? Is it about my daughter? Like, how dare they, you know? Oh man, what's it gonna be like when she goes to school? I feel like I'm gonna have to fight some parents. Little Bobby tries to hit Lila at school, little Bobby's gonna get his ass kicked. <laughs> okay, Gen C, let's talk about Gen C. So, clean brand, recently launched at Credo. You guys already know I love Credo. Credo is like Sephora, but only clean beauty. Credo is incredible and Gen C just launched there. And they're all about like color, but it's also very beautiful and skincare centric. So as you can see, this blush, it looks like my skin. It really looks like I'm just like slightly blushed. It's just a beautiful rouge. And this is lip and cheek color. And it is super hydrating and kind of just blending beautifully. So I will use this on my lips as well. Who remembers Benefit Cosmetics Coralista? I used to use so much of that from literally like my ears to my nose. I was like, it was clown makeup, truly, but I loved it. <laughs> the blush just made me happy. And now it's like we're back on that trend. Now our people are doing like the sunburnt little tip of your nose, which I love, because I'm like, this is realistic. Like blush doesn't just go in this like tiny little corner of your cheeks. Like when people blush, it's like all over their cheeks. Sometimes it's even on the sides of their forehead too, it just depends. And I'm like, I want more of that natural look. And this is the shade Dragon Fruit 04. It's just amazing. I've been so impressed with Gen Z, to be honest. The brow gel is incredible. Her mascara is incredible. This is amazing. This just launched in two shades. It's like a darker brown shade and then this Dragon Fruit shade, which I really love because it's perfect for summer. I love pinks, like every shade of pink you could possibly imagine. I'm like, let's go. So this is really nice. Let's do some concealer. And to be honest, they sent me three shades of concealer, Ali Opted, and I just found out how I got on their PR list. One of my, and this goes back to being an OG in this space, one of my contacts, she actually used to work at Pixie Beauty, then she went to Tower 28, and now she's at Ali Op. And I remember I was like, how did I start getting these packages? Because I've been testing the makeup, and I'm like, I haven't emailed anybody, they haven't DM'd me, like how does this happen? It's because she went over there. So we've got a couple shades. They sent me Standout, they sent me Winner and All Star. I love all of these names and I don't remember which one I use. I think I use Standout. Okay, it looks bright enough. I gotta be honest with you guys, I've been testing all shades of foundation and stuff and people send me different shades okay i don't know how people can guess like i think they try to look through like your instagram photos and i don't put filters on any selfies but nobody's gotten the shade right like tart sent me 27b light medium beige this is definitely not my shade like it was way too dark you could see like that line but i made it work because i was like i want to test this formula it just felt really heavy to me personally but i just don't understand like no one gets the shade right I think the best shade I have right now that I've mentioned is from Sensei Beauty, which is one of the Japanese brands that I bought from the Beauty Gypsy. That color, like the porcelain, like the beiginess is just perfect for my skin. I feel like in the US we have too many foundation shades that have these orange hues in them. So you end up looking like orange because you have to go all the way down your neck and then even when you connect with your neck, it still looks wrong, like if you have a lower shirt. So I just feel like we need more shades. And then people did message me when I shared Sensei Beauty and they're like, well, they don't have any darker shades. And I'm like, you can't win them all usually. Like it's really difficult for a brand to get all the shades. But I think the reason Sensei works for me is because they're dealing with a lot of porcelain skin tones in Japan. 
and it just was like the most perfect color match for me. I've never been that perfectly matched. And yeah, I just, I'm obsessed with that foundation. It's the best one I think I've ever tried. And I'll show you guys the package again. And again, I got it from the Beauty Gypsy who is, basically what she does is she has like a little personal shopper situation in Japan. Her husband works out there and so he has staff and they go and they shop all these things for you. So it's an easy way to get Japanese makeup because it's like impossible. I actually searched most of the brands that she sells. They're just not even possible to find in terms of the US because here we're marketing Sephora, Ulta products, etc. So it's like there's not a lot of Japanese products. But this is what it looks like. It is their cream foundation. And honestly, this is gonna last forever. I've been using it, I think it's been like three months now, because I got this in the middle of December. It's been three months now. I've used it quite a bit, and it's lasting forever. A little bit goes a long way. And I don't remember if this one had any SPF, but it is just, it's stunning. It's just stunning. And this was the shade Natural Beige, like a true natural beige without like weird orange undertones and nonsense. Really, really beautiful. I'm gonna use the Tarte Mascara because this one has also really impressed me. I was trying to find the brow gel from Gen C because I just have like little mini things filled everywhere, but I've been only keeping the good stuff because I just don't have time for all this other nonsense. Concealer looking pretty dang good, like beautiful formulation, alley up, wow. If you guys have made it this far in the video, bless you. I'm also curious if you do watch YouTube, are you on TikTok or are you on Instagram or neither? Because I find that a lot of people who are here on YouTube and watch YouTube videos are not really fans of the other two, or if you are, you're usually one or the other. So I'm curious, like which team are you on? Look at how beautiful this mascara is. I was actually really shocked because I've just tried so many of these like bigger brand mascaras and they suck and my lashes go, they kind of curl downward. This is amazing and it's very light and also I did do like a cleanse. I was so tired but I didn't want to like go crazy like and rub the crap out of my eyes. So I kind of left it on overnight and it is not like the raccoon -y eye mascara. I don't know how to explain it. It kind of just like fell apart in like little clumps. It didn't like smear into my face and I didn't look crazy the next morning. It's just like a beautiful, beautiful formulation. I don't have a proper highlighter brush with me, so we're just gonna make this work. But this was uh, highlighters from Fenty. Wow, Kilowatt, so Mean Honey and Hustla Baby. I'm doing Hustla Baby up here. Oh my. I gotta do my best not to look in the viewfinder, otherwise it's the most annoying thing. It's actually just a pet peeve of mine. I don't think other people care about it as much, I've realized. Some people are like, well, you gotta look in the camera and see how you look. And I'm like, I if I do that, it's the most annoying thing when I see somebody who's like, like the view is there to you, not up there. Man, we are feeling sassy today. Hello. The Tarte Lash Treat, way better. I was not a fan of that L'Oreal Telescopic. I found that I watched so many videos on TikTok of people using that mascara because, man, L'Oreal really made out with that Michaela ad, okay? But the people who, who that mascara looked good on had like naturally gorgeous curled lashes already. So all they needed was like a little coat of black and bam, okay? For people like me who need more help with lashes, that is not the mascara for us, okay? So anybody who was raving about it literally already had really nice lashes. I just noticed that because I was like, this girl doesn't even need mascara, she has really nice lashes, but then you add a little bit of that dramatic black and it's like, woo, her lashes looked insane. Makeup is done. <sighs> sort of poured my heart out again, but you know. It is what it is. Can't let the people who don't like you get to you, you know? I need to take my own advice. I've been telling this to other people for years and then I'm like falling apart because I've had a baby and it's like, get your shit together. Also, Spinelli Kill Coin. Oh my God, why did, why did none of you tell me about Spinelli Kill Coin? Like I literally had to find this brand 
from like the depths of the internet. Like it's so exclusive. Like why did no one tell me? Okay. My friend Lillian is funny. She's like, this is why we're friends. I've been eyeing that stuff for like five years. I'm like, you should have told me. I would have bought it sooner. But I got like a startup piece because none of this is gold, it's just silver. And I think since I like it so much, I'll probably do a more of an investment piece long term. Or I'll wait to see if they have a Black Friday sale because I don't know what the situation is with that. But I feel like with luxury, it's very limited. You know, I always like to go through and like talk about the stars of the makeup. Okay, let's see. The mascara is obviously a star. The lip and cheek is just so natural and beautiful. Like it's so much more intense on my lips than it is on the cheek. So it's definitely a star. That's the Gen C lip and cheek color. The shade was Dragon Fruit. The mascara was Tarte Lash Treat. Um, G Beauty, the tinted primer foundation. I mean, it's incredible. It's their prime skin. Everything I've tried from G is amazing. Um, what else? So skincare wise, Merit obviously. And you can even see in this formula, it separates. So you have to shake it every time, but it is truly like an instant glow. And then Make Makeup, this moisturizer is like incredible. In freaking incredible. It's like a really thick, super hydrating formulation, but it's also like the perfect primer under skin. Like Carrie really thought of it all because she does makeup. <laughs> So she wanted skincare that was not only good quality, clean, but also would be nice under makeup. So she killed that. I think that's it. Those are the stars of the show. Those are the products. If you had to pick only a couple, I would say those would be the ones. So again, I'll have everything linked in the description box down below. Hope you guys enjoy this. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hopefully I've edited this down to like a reasonable amount of time because I already got cut once saying the recording has stopped because you've reached the maximum time. So I may need someone to help me edit this now. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.